hello guys welcome back to my channel it's been a little while since i got to sit down here and film for you guys i have been setting aside stuff to talk about for this updated current favorites video for the last two months and i have not even that much to talk about which is shocking i thought i would have way more oh my god i already forgot something hold on basically um if you guys watched my most recent video, not the repost of my grad get ready with me, with me. English is so, such a struggle. Um, but the video before that, the video that I did called I'm a mess and that's okay. That video I talked about, um, like kind of why I've been taking a bit of a hiatus and stuff. And in this video, I want to sort of like, just like get back into the swing of things, lower my camera a bit. Why don't we start with what I'm wearing, which is a new necklace. This necklace is from YCL, which if you guys don't know YCL, it's an Australian jewelry company. I have another piece from them that I love, and actually my boyfriend got this for me for our anniversary, which was in June, and I have been loving it. It's just, I think it's called like the amulet necklace or something like that, and it's just like a plain gold disc. I really like the length of it as well. Overall, it's just been a good time, so yes, this necklace. It's very nice. I have actually like a surprising number of like makeup products and a skincare product that I'm really excited about. So I want to talk about those because I have been going through a lot with my skin. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for the last like year, 2018 has been really bad for my skin for whatever reason. It just like, you know, not my year. And actually until like now, my skin has been the best it's been all year. Um, now I have like a mountain growing on the side of my face but you know we're just chill about it we're not freaking out we're not touching it i've had like a lot of skin issues and so i've kept changing over my skincare routine like i think i've tried 110 different variations of it and i think i finally found kind of like a system that's working one of the things that i've implemented is a mask in my routine and this is something i actually got as a sample from sephora in one of my orders or something and I tried it and I was like holy crap I have to buy it it's the Laneige mini pore water clay mask for all skin but basically it's like this clay kind of thing even like the smell I like love the smell now because it's like you know I just I like using it I find that my pores get clogged really easily and I think that's one of the things that I'm like coming to terms with my skin figuring out like how to make it the best it can be and this has really been helping with that. Um, the rest of my skincare routine, I'll probably like wait a little bit to share with you guys because unfortunately, a lot of it is just repetitive from other previous um, skincare routines I've done in the past. And really, I think it's just like finding the right combination of products, um, when to use them and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that in the future if you guys want to see that. But this has been one of the things that I've been really loving and I highly recommend this if you get clogged pores or whatever. I feel like this would just work well for everyone, really. It's great. And it's not too expensive. I think it's like $40 or something, which in the world of skincare, it ain't that bad. Okay, next I want to talk about my face product that I've been using so much and I'm in love with. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And this is an amazing product, okay? Let me just say that I wanted something before I went to Hawaii that I could wear on my face that had an SPF and also had a coverage to it. Um, this is one of the ones that I found on Sephora that was like really highly recommended because it has quite good coverage. And I was like, well, that's not necessarily what I was looking for, but that would be great because then I could just use this and not have to put anything else on my face. And that's what I've been literally doing all summer. Right now I'm sweaty, okay? But naturally this is like quite a dewy product and I love that. So this has just been amazing. It's also like some of the best packaging. Like it has a pump, but it's in like a squishy tube. So I feel like you're not gonna miss out on anything. I'm gonna use it all year round because it's, I mean, you always need sunscreen on your face, right? Right? Next, I have one of my favorite kind of lip combinations slash really I wanna talk about this Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in the shade Glacé. It's called a matte lip crayon. And it just looks like this. It's like a nice, um, like everyday kind of, oops, <laughs> almost broke it. It's like a nice everyday like pink color, but it is quite pigmented. And while I do like the full pigment of this, for me, on an everyday basis, it's just a bit too much because I don't really wear makeup, you guys know. So what I was doing was uh, using the Bite Agave Lip Mask first. And this is just in the like natural or, what is this? 
the no color one. I don't know if it has a name, but it's gluten free. It wants me to know, which is great. So I apply this first and then I put this over top and it creates like the nicest sheer, like just like rejuvenated, moisturized lip color ever. It's so nice. Um, this is another thing that I want to mention is, okay. This is another thing that I wanted to mention as well because I've really been loving this as well. At first I thought I was allergic to it because like every time I use it my lips would get really tingly. I don't find it like crazy moisturizing but it does last a really long time on the lips and it's just quite sticky. So I mean agave is like a sweetener so you would think it would be sticky but it's like lip gloss sticky maybe even more than a lip gloss so if you don't like a, a sticky lip product then you will not like this at all um but this oh my goodness so good and together this is like what i've been going for next thing i want to talk about is a product that unfortunately i don't think is very easy to get but it's something that i have been loving and savoring and i just thought that i might as well talk about it because it's amazing so this is the mountain ocean skin trip with coconut and this is something that i got in hawaii so basically the first time i ever went to hawaii while we were there we all got burnt to a crisp as you do and my mom went to whole foods and got the um this product and i was like what is that first of all it smells delicious like not artificial coconut but like amazing and it was so good for our sunburns so when we went to hawaii just recently in may I was like, I gotta get to the Whole Foods and I gotta grab this because this is phenomenal. So, there you go. This is amazing. I love it. The last sort of like beauty item I want to talk about is the Lush Solid Shampoo Bars. I have been obsessed with the Honey Scented one and I have it in my shower right now. I didn't want to like bring it out because it's kind of wet and gross. but. Oh my god, so I was in Lush the other day and I've kind of been off Lush. There's a spider there. Ew, why do the spiders hate us? It's outside, it's okay, but still, like, what the fuck. I was walking by Lush and they had like a big billboard about their shampoo bars and I was like, I used a shampoo bar of theirs like way back in the day and I hated it. Like, I hated it. But not because it didn't work, it was because I hated the smell of it. And because back then, they didn't have like any options. I think they maybe had like three different options for shampoo bars or something like that. So I went into Lush, just like, okay, I'm going to browse. Ended up buying like soap and everything because, you know, it's like the best. And I smelled this like honey scented shampoo bar. And I was like, um, yeah, I need that. But then when I started using it, I was like, holy mother F, this stuff is amazing. This shampoo bar makes my hair so soft and it smells ridiculously good and I freaking love it it is so easy to use I actually don't think I'm ever going to go back to buying bottles of shampoo why would I do that when I could buy this like unpackaged little product like it was amazing as for books this month specifically has been very much filled with one one man and one man only Ken Follett my homie. I was at the bookstore the other day and I like wandered over to his section and I was like, why haven't I read this series? It's called The Century Trilogy and oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. It's a historical fiction series based around the first book being World War One, and the second book is World War Two, and I haven't read the third book yet, but I'm assuming it's like another war, like the end of World War Two. I don't know what it's going to be. But what's so amazing about these books and about Ken Follett in general is that he has like all these different perspectives from all different sides of this huge world event and it's just so so entertaining and so interesting and such a good read so the first one is called fall of giants the second one is winter of the world which i never realized that's kind of a weird title if you like historical fiction definitely give them a try because you'll love them he's just such a good writer and if you haven't read anything by him please help yourself because there's a lot of options and it's all great. I also wanted to mention a Netflix show that I've been really obsessed with recently and that is, well actually there's two of them. One of it is Jane the Virgin which I'm on season three now and so we've been watching it for a while but I've never mentioned it on my channel that I love it. It's such a good show. Um, 
if you've never seen it, please help yourself. It's such a good show. The other one I want to talk about is Good Girls, which is new on Netflix. It's a Netflix like original series. Um, it's so good. I've only watched a couple of episodes, but I posted about it on my Instagram stories, and a lot of you guys were like, this show is so good. Or people were like, what show is this? I need to watch it. Um, it's really good so far. Have not been disappointed. So there are some Netflix shows for you to binge. I also have like a fashion item my Converse. So I finally got a pair of high top Converse. I used to wear like exclusively Converse in elementary school, like specifically grade six and seven. I remember like this was all I wore as Converse sneakers. So for me to get another pair now, like as an adult woman, it's kind of amazing how much I love these, but also like how uncomfortable they are in the beginning. Like I'm just like, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I actually had in elementary school, this is not an exaggeration or a lie. I had a pair of low top purple, like ro like bright purple velvet sneakers with gold laces. So I love them. I love the high tops. They're really cute and I feel like they go well with everything. Like I wear them with shorts and dresses, pants, like I just love them. So those have also been a favorite. I think the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the new Florence and the Machine album, which if you guys know, I've been a fan of Florence and the Machine for like as long as they've been around pretty much and I love I love everything they put out and this album is really no exception although I have to say I was slightly disappointed a little bit disappointed I really liked the direction she was going in with the previous album and this was totally not in that same direction so I still love it don't get me wrong but um yeah just a little bit of disappointment there but still so good Highly recommend listening to that. Um, she's just amazing and I love her and that's everything I have to say about that. That's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm also wearing my old glasses because I just have been wearing them re recently. They're really light, which I really like. My other glasses are quite heavy, so I like wearing them every once in a while. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if there's anything that you want me to film a video on in the future. Any favorites that you've been really loving the last couple months. Um, anything you think I should try, books I should read, things I should do, let me know. And that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!